G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, Monday afternoon here in Australia. So, yeah, the week is upon us and what is going to happen? That is the big question. All right, so market cap up a little bit, 407 billion, not bad. We're still not quite as high as we were a little while ago. I think we got up around the $430 billion mark, nearly 450, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, BTC dominance, 62%. Uh, I do think it's going to go up a little bit more and get to that 65%. Uh, how far it goes after that, hard to know. Uh, gas prices for ETH has come down, uh, has gone up a little bit, sorry. We were down to around about 27.18 uh, ETH. But that tells me that uh, obviously ETH is possibly picking up at the moment. Uh, the fees are getting high, so more people are using it. Uh, and I will uh, show you something that will... Uh, lead towards that direction as well. So let's have a look. Bitcoin it just doesn't want to break 14,000 at the moment. Uh, now it is Monday. So, you know, it, it's very, very early. It'll be Monday morning over in the States. We'll just have to wait and see. And I don't think there's going to be any major moves before the uh, election. So sort of Wednesday. Uh, and after that, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I think we might crack that $14,000 mark later in the week, possibly over the weekend. It's more dependent on how people react uh, to the election. You know, if there's riots and things and all the rest of it, as I said yesterday, yeah, we might see a bit of a downturn and things are roll over. Uh, but look, it could go the complete opposite way. No one really knows. I'm just taking a bit of a guess. But really, outside of, yeah, riots and all the rest of it, I don't think there's going to be too much swing uh, from Bitcoin uh, in regards to who wins or loses. I don't think it'll do any better if Biden wins over Trump and vice versa. I, I think, you know, again, outside of mass riots and things like that, that's the only thing that might really affect the price to the downside. Now, Ethereum, desperately trying to hold on to that $400 oh so close and it's just been ranging around there uh, and we're going to have a look at that but there has been I mean look at this this is just a bloodbath in the alts for the last seven days it has been horrific you know there's the odd outliers that they generally haven't done too bad but it's just red 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 and I think a lot of people have almost possibly given up on altcoins and uh, just of the belief that it's only going to be uh, bitcoin from here on in when it's like that and everybody's basically throwing the towel in is generally when you should be getting in. Now that's not financial advice, that's just my personal opinion, but you, you wanna go against the trend sometimes, not all the time, don't get me wrong. In a bull market, you just generally always wanna buy and in a bear market, you know, we wanna be selling and then having some cash for once we think we've found the bottom. I mean, we want to sell really before the bear market even starts. We want to sell at the height of the uh, bull market. But the thing is, trying to time it exactly, it's just way too hard. And that's going to lead on to uh, something that I did today. So anyway, we can have a look. Now, 24 hours. Any big movers? Ocean Protocol, Aave, NICE, AVE, whatever you want to call it. Compound token and things like that. So just really single digit moves, nothing too major. Well done Cardano and NEO. Uh, you know, interesting to see what's gonna happen with NEO. I have myself a very small bag of NEO and I'm just waiting to see if there's gonna be more development with China uh, adopting blockchain and things like that and you know whether they really get on board with NEO. But yep, small digit movers, nothing too major. Yearn Finance, you know, maybe it's found a bottom here. Uh, 10,000, 11,000, we'll have to wait and see. V chain. Yeah, again, 4%. Nothing too major. You know, hopefully Uniswap's found a bottom because that's really killed me, that one. All right, what about big losers, though? And there we go. No big losers whatsoever. So, you know, single-digit kind of losses. I am hoping that I'm right in that altcoins have just about found their bottom. My gut feeling right now is that Bitcoin's still going to uh, lead the way a little bit. But I think altcoins have done all their major kind of sell-offs. I think if they're not at the bottom now, they're very, very close. Uh, and now might be a great time to get into altcoins. Now, for me, I like DeFi. I think DeFi is going to be huge. Now, it had a big pump and there's a lot of people saying, oh, you know, the DeFi bubble burst and now that's it. Uh, look, 
I don't believe it's gone whatsoever. I think DeFi is going to be huge. When we think about cryptocurrencies, I mean, it's in the name, currency, finance, banking. That is what people are in here for. DeFi is only just getting started. And if we go over to the DeFi section, we can have a look over the last seven days. I mean, everything is just down 20%, you know, 30%, you know, and so on and so on. And that's just the last seven days. DeFi has been, you know, burning off for a, about a month or so now. So some of these projects are down 60%. Now, generally, not always, but sell offs when they're really big in cryptocurrencies. It's generally somewhere around that kind of 75-ish percent. And, you know, give or take a little bit. Sometimes it goes to 80, 85, and sometimes it pulls up short to around 65%. So if you just averaged it out, you'd say roughly around 75% retracements on big corrections. And a lot of those are now sitting around 60, 70% corrections. So for me, I pulled the trigger today, uh, and I got myself some synthetics network tokens. Now, look, I could be wrong and it could sell off more, but if it does sell off more, then so be it. At least I know I've got a discount compared to what it was. It's $2.88 at the moment. It was $8 something. So it was basically three, you know, almost four times the price. So I've got it four times cheaper than what it was at. And I don't think this project is done at all. And over the next, you know, sort of fortnight or so, uh, I'll probably be getting into some more. I, you know, I've got pretty good positions. I've got a good position in Ave. I've got a good position in uh, Ren. Sorry, Ren down here. So Synthetics Network is the one that I didn't have as good a position. Uh, and again, you know, I'm not buying it for the 84 cents. But look, if this continues to go down, uh, and again, maybe starts to get towards that dollar thirty range that I think it, you know, may get to. I don't think it will get there. But look, it might. I will be buying up a ton more at $1.30. So I just bought a few. I mean, not a ton. I don't have that much money. A ton in my uh, <laughs> in my circumstances. Now, Uniswap, again, look at that. That's really gone down. So I will be buying up some more. But Chainlink is something that uh, I bought some a little while ago. So it was only about a week ago. And I think I might start to buy some more. I think Chainlink has finally bottomed and is about to start making its next move. Uh, and I'll show you uh, what is making me lead towards that. Let's go over and have a look at some charts. So link, all right, link against Bitcoin. Now there's a bit of a common theme here in Chainlink. It just gets in these wedges, starts to make its way down, and then when it breaks out, it breaks out to the upside and moves up. And you know, you could have even done another little one in here and then we get another breakdown and it breaks up. Breaking down breaks up. It is always breaking to the upside. Now at the moment, it's going downwards and you can see it's just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Now this uh, triangle isn't quite the same as these. These have been a little bit more elongated and kind of, uh, yeah, they just took a little bit, a little bit longer really. This one uh, is just quite tight and we can see that it is just bouncing in between here. And look at that, it bounced right off it. And so look, anything's possible. This could hit here and then break and come down here. It's entirely possible. It's more about the probabilities of it being likely. I don't think it's likely. Uh, I think, you know, a majority of the altcoins are pretty much at their bottom. I don't think they're going to go much lower, short of being some you know catastrophic you know news in the whole financial system. And I mean, at the moment, stocks are you know falling over left, right, and center. But once the presidential elections is over, regardless of who wins, stimulus is going to start. They're going to put more stimulus in, so the stocks will bounce back. And look, these will start to do well. Uh, as well, you know, with further stimulus, all cryptocurrency, no, I can't say all, a lot of cryptocurrencies, i.e. most cryptocurrencies, you know, that are good projects, not the shit ones that are just, you know, complete and utter scams and exit, uh, exit scams, they're not going to do that well, although they may, but the good ones, they're just going to bounce back, and they've already had these massive pull-offs, uh, sorry, sell-offs, the the stock market, you know, is having a correction now. Well, guess what? The alts have had a massive correction. And it just looks like 
this is getting tighter and tighter and tighter and absolutely it could fall off the cliff and basically roll over but I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think the stimulus packages are going to be announced in you know the next seven to ten days and these are going to start to make the next leg up. So that is Chainlink. I think Chainlink is looking really, really nice at the moment. Uh, I didn't buy any Chainlink today because, again, I have a reasonable size bag of Chainlink and it's just a much more expensive coin. Not that that really determines whether I'm going to buy it or not, but I just think Synthetics Network at the moment was looking a lot juicier. Uh, that's one of my favorite uh, DeFi projects at the moment. But Chainlink, uh, it's looking pretty good. I think it has basically sort of found a bottom here. You can see that, you know, this a roundabout sort of here is the rough bottom uh, and it's you know it's been resistance and it's been support uh, it broke through but it was a bit of a fake out and now it is just basically being resistance uh, sorry support so this is uh, this is looking pretty bullish in my eyes I think there's every chance that Chainlink is going to make another big move up uh, very very soon likely to excuse me break out to the upside uh, and really start to move all right, what else can we have a look at? Uh, Ren to BTC, this is another one. So again, had the big pump, and now it's come, and uh, it's sold off, and again, it's just, it's staying within these trend lines. I don't draw these trend lines and then this starts to happen. This is happening all by itself, and then I'm just drawing trend lines after it. So it's not like uh, it, this is being kind of planned out. It's playing out all by itself. And this is a common cycle in all sorts of markets. It's not just cryptocurrencies, but things just get tighter and tighter and tighter, and then they just break out. Look, again, sometimes it's to the low side. It's absolutely possible that they could, but I just think it's unlikely at the moment. Again, you look at the, the overall market sentiment of how these have been doing, and look, started here it had its sell off so this is complete pitch capitulation uh and then it sold off and rolled over and people were in despair thinking here we go again it's going to roll over and then it's just started this is you know basically here minus this part through to around about here it, it was all just accumulation and you can see the volume people were really buying into the stuff here and then it's just started to make its way up and now it's coiling and it's probably going to get ever so tight and then it's going to make its move right here we can see this line that it's sitting on at the moment uh you know will this hold it's under it at the moment i think it's quite possible it comes down get out of there <laughs> and bounces back off this and then comes above and starts to break out to the upside so same thing as chain link i think i think ren's looking really nice at the moment but do your own research and make your own mind up whether you like ren i've got myself a reasonable position in it again not thousands and thousands of dollars i just don't have that kind of money but i've put what i can afford into it uh and I th yeah i think we'll easily eclipse uh this old all-time high this is just uh, a simple move in a longer term trend and the trend is up at the moment they've made it through the bear market so we're back here 2019 that was a really rough year uh, you know it came out late 2018 by the looks of it uh, at least on the Binance chart and so it sold off and again it got to its complete capitulation and then from there it had a bit of a fake out uh, a sell-off and again this is just a big accumulation phase right here and now yeah it's just coiling tighter and tighter and tighter and if you like Ren and if you uh, see the same thing that I do in these charts I think this is looking like a pretty good buy opportunity again I've already got a bag of Ren it's not to say I won't buy any more but I only have so much money that I can put in at any one time and I went for synthetics network this time so I think Ren is looking pretty sweet let's go over to Aave now it's not so much these these lines they don't really mean too much at the moment I, I, I should have probably taken them away but it's more this blue line here so this has been some support we can see I mean it dipped a little bit low but let's go back to here it lines up with an old all-time high so again it sold off it capitulated all the way down uh, to September 2019 uh, and now it started to make its way back up uh, and again the trend since way back in September 2019 is it just moves up 
but these kind of corrections are not uncommon and even here again a little correction here a little correction here a little correction here a fairly sort of steep correction although still not that big and that's all this is it's just playing out again this is just a correction and it is likely to start to pump back up and it's at a key level at the moment that doesn't mean it can't sell off and i've got this red line here uh, that basically shows where there's a little bit of uh, confluence here again this is more resistance so is it just going to do a simple uh, you know resistance uh, support flip it could do that here or maybe it rolls over and does it down here who knows it's hard to say but i think you know again no one can time these markets perfectly that's just impossible if someone could do that they would literally be the richest person in the world and i don't know maybe the rothschilds or someone's doing that i don't know <laughs> but the average person and even some of the most experienced traders they can't time it perfectly and again they just simply trade against uh the herd not all the time but at specific times so again these have just been selling off selling off and you know if you believe they're a good project and they've got good fundamentals and they're going to be around for the long term this is probably a good time to buy let's have a look how much has this sold off from its peak its peaks around about here and so 74 percent as i said around that 75 percent mark is like a a golden sort of range it could sell off more and go to around about 80 85 percent or sometimes it's a little bit less 60 percent but a 75 percent correction that is a pretty good correction i would say it is basically ready to start bouncing back up and we can see it's found some support here and again it's been here on a couple of times before and this is an old cycle high you know thereabouts not exactly it doesn't have to be exact so maybe ren is now looking pretty sweet to make its next move up because it has corrections there's one has corrections there's one has corrections there's one it corrects all the time all of these do this is just a more pronounced one at the moment but you know well into the future if ren does well this is just going to be a tiny little blip it'll be something like this you'll hardly even notice it but i think ren uh, again another project i like i have a good bag it is looking pretty sweet at the moment oh sorry this is ave ave not ren uh, so again ave is looking pretty sweet my apologies uh, got a few different tabs there going so ave is looking good and again we already looked at ren that is just coiling tighter and tighter and i think it's going to break out to the upside all right let's go to uh, we can have a look at synthetics bitcoin first now what i'm looking at is same thing here here's an old cycle high for synthetics versus bitcoin and look where it's sitting get out of there now that's not to say that it's going to hold and it can't roll over and go a little bit lower because it possibly could come down to here maybe even come way down to here it's hard to know but what have we got here's the cycle high it's where it's come down to 70% correction against Bitcoin. I said it before and I'll say it again, you know, a 75% correction thereabouts. It could be less, 60%, could be more, 80, 85%. Thereabouts is a fairly reasonable correction. And a lot of the times that's where they just correct from, around about there. So again, this could go more. I'm not saying it can't, but this still to me looks like a sweet buy-in point. So guess what I did? I bought synthetics uh, network today now this is just against bt so 75 percent correction this is the one that really kind of did it for me and it's not that you you know you really should use uh synthetics against the dollar but i take a combination of the two so it's a 75 percent retracement against bitcoin and then we go over here to usd uh, usdc and look at this again this pattern is just getting tighter and tighter and tighter and we can see that it's fallen right on the lines here now it's possibly going to break to the downside and maybe come to sort of two dollars sixty or it might just kind of correct and then start to find its way back up we'll have to wait and see but where are we at versus the dollar a 65 percent correction so could it come down another 10 percent and let's go to a 75 percent correction which brings it down to about a dollar ninety. Look, absolutely possible, 
But if we just get down to here, and there's no chance it will make it to here, it's just possible it may have found its bottom, that's still a 67%, 70% correction. I'm happy to buy here uh, and you know, for the longer term hold. I believe in Synthetics Network. I think it's a great project. I think it's going to be around for a long time. So that's what made me got in. It's already done a 60 something percent correction. Again, I think these are all looking pretty sweet. I am waiting to see whether this pumps up back in here over the next few days. Maybe gets up to here again around that $3 sort of 20 mark. Rolls over for one more sort of final low. And again, maybe comes back down and tests sort of this. But I am. I'm hopeful, but you know, somewhat expecting as well that the two dollar sixty won't be broken from Synthetix Network. I think all of these have basically found their bottom, you know, thereabouts, and they're about to start making their next leg up. That's just my personal opinion. All right, Ethereum. So as we said, the Ethereum gas prices have gone up. This line, <laughs> it is holding like an absolute trooper. So you know, this trend has been held for a long time. And it has just been coiling and coiling and coiling. And now we're going to know very soon what's going to happen. Is this going to break and roll over and come down? Uh, again, gas fees are going up. So it says to me that people are using Ethereum at the moment. And I think they probably figure that Ethereum, uh, it's just building to something. I could be wrong. It won't be the first time I've been wrong and it won't be the last, but I just don't think uh, it's going to roll over. And if it does, I really don't see it coming much lower than about $300, sort of $20, $330. That's not to say it couldn't come way down here to like $250, sort of $230. Possible. I just think unlikely. I think stimulus packages are going to come out and everything is really going to start to, uh, you, you know, go upwards again including the stock market the stock market's just selling off at the moment as soon as there's just word of a stimulus package it doesn't even have to be that the stimulus package is out just that they're even talking about it you watch things will start to go up and they'll start to go up fairly quickly and i believe that's what's going to happen so ethereum is it going to continue to hold this line and finally break above 400 and stay above it or are we going to roll over uh, and go a little bit lower I think this is going to hold, but we'll wait and see. Last but not least, the big daddy of them all, Bitcoin. All right, it is really struggling against uh, the $13,800 mark. It is possible that it rolls over and comes down and tests this. It is possible that it rolls over and comes down and tests, again, this line. This is the similar line, similar line to Ethereum. Uh, and this is the trend that's been holding. So it is quite possible that this rolls over and comes down and bounces off this. It is possible that it rolls over and comes down and tests this line. This is that greater trend line that we broke out of uh, that shows we're out of the bear market. But it's about a probability. What are the chances of that happening? I think they're pretty low. I just don't see it happening. Again, the lows, really this is the first low in a while that's gotten a little bit lower. That's the only thing that concerns me at the moment. So, all right, the low got higher. This low was roughly even. This low was higher. This low was roughly even. This low was higher. This low was higher. Then we had another one that was roughly even. Then we had a low that was higher, a low that was higher, a low that was higher, and now we've rolled over. So this makes me think that Bitcoin now might have a bit of a sell-off. Those profits will likely go into... Uh, altcoins that's what makes me think the altcoins are ready to go up so I am sort of you know it wouldn't surprise me if we roll over and come down and sort of test here 13,000 quite possible and again maybe even here maybe even here maybe even here I just think these are unlikely I think it's you know even somewhat unlikely that we come down and test 12,500 but let's have a look what kind of correction would that be so from our sort of cycle high now it only wicked here if we were to come down to here so that would only be sort of an 11% correction. So that really wouldn't be that much in the grand scheme of things. I don't think that's going to happen though, but it is definitely possible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this one's gone for a while, so I won't take up any more of your time. Please hit that like button down below. Helps my videos get seen by more people. Hit the subscribe button. I make videos every day on the odd occasion. I won't, you know, life gets in the way, work and all the rest of it, but that's only happened once uh, since I've been doing this uh, earlier this year. 
Let me now know down below what your thoughts are. Do you think DeFi is dead or do you think it's uh, just having a healthy correction and is going to skyrocket to the upside, um, you know, very, very shortly? Um, you know, what are your thoughts about whether Bitcoin and the markets, how will they react with the presidential election in the next few days? Do you think that they they will, you know, will the markets... Uh, push higher if Trump wins or push uh, higher if Biden wins? Do you think that they will be greatly affected if there is some, you know, basically outrage and rioting in the streets over in the States? Do you think that will really affect the price? And do you think this is just a little bit of a stall where we might go sideways for sort of the rest of the week until sort of Thursday, Friday, once we know the winner of the election and then we just start to move higher uh, with talk of new stimulus and all the rest of it? Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that game train and I'll see you next time.